This sandwich is very near and dear to my heart. Growing up, I had to make my own lunch. A lot of times, I would just make a simple tuna salad, which is like mayo and tuna. We're gonna go ahead and take that to the next level, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we have some great tuna here. We're gonna start with that. Next up, we have some mayonnaise. So instead of celery, we have diced fennel. Adds a little anise flavor, really complements the fish. Here we have diced red onion, some bread and butter pickles that have been chopped up. I remember growing up, I used to squeeze the relish into the mayo, into the tuna, but this is a little bit better. So next up, we have some roasted garlic puree to add some umami. So here's that caramelized fennel and leek mustard that we made. It's gonna really go well with this fish. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. And remember, the mayonnaise already has a lot of salt, uh, so that's why we're not adding salt. So we're gonna do a zest of one lemon. I always like to go in one motion like this so you don't uh, get the pith. The pith has a lot of bitterness to it, and this way you get the clean zest. Remember that super tip? You can always use your zester as a strainer. I always like using my hands so you can make sure that you break up the tuna and get that mayonnaise in there and all the ingredients, and that way it's evenly mixed. And now we're gonna add our secret ingredient. This is katsuoboshi. It's basically a dried banana flake that's been smoked, and it's gonna accentuate the fish flavor, but also add a lot of smokiness. And there you have it, our tuna salad. 